What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Magnezone rain team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Magnezone, this Pokemon has a really dope design, but to be honest, it's kind of lackluster on the competitive scene. But pairing it up with a rain center such as Pelipper and giving it the choice scarf as its item allows this Pokemon to actually be viable and be very good. So hopefully I get to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential and more importantly, grab some wins for you guys. Let's talk about Magnetone. It is an electric and steel type Pokemon with the fighting terror type on today's build. It's got sturdy, like we already mentioned, a choice scarf as item. And then it's got thunder, which is 100% accurate in the rain, volt switch, flash cannon, and last but not least, we got terror blast. Our rain setter going to be Pelipper, obviously, with Drizzle and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Stellar Terror type with Hurricane, Weather Ball Protect, and Tailwind for Speed Control. Another Pokemon that thrives out in the rain is going to be Salamence, right behind my face cam. Hopefully you guys can see it. If not, I got you guys right here. It's got Intimidate and the Life Orb as its item with the Steel Terror type, Draco Meteor, Hurricane, Tailwind Protect. So we got two Tailwind setters in today's video. We got Speed Control on Lockdown. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Rillaboom, Basculegion, and Arch Ludon. You guys already know, Basculegion and Arch Ludon thrive out in the rain. And then we got Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things. Got that Grassy Surge, got Fake Out, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, all the normal Rillaboom stuff. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Magnezone in ranked Regulation H. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Garchomp and Dragonite team. They also have Alolan Ninetales for weather control. They got Sneasler, they got Volcarona and Corviknight. So they're most likely bringing in Alolan Ninetales just to kind of counter my weather setter. But I kind of want to lead Magnezone and just try to get after it. Do I want to do that? And I could hard swap Pelipper right off the rip because I would love to just lead Magnezone and Pelipper and just start ripping thunders. I think that could be a lot of fun. I think it definitely could be a lot of fun. And you know what? Could go and roll them as well and you turn pivot out here if i would like but i like pelper as the lead because if they do end up leading a low on nine tails we can honestly just you know hard swap or have weather control right off the rip because pelper is slower but if they don't lead a low on nine tails we can just hard swap pelper so i'm gonna go magnetone i'm gonna go pelper i am going to bring in archer loot on here because i like this pokemon and last but not least we go salamence with the life orb we're gonna go salamence with the life orb let's lock it in Let's lock it in. Looking for a win here in match number one. Hopefully, Magnetone can prevail. I'm hoping I can just start ripping Thunders early on here. That's really my play. I'm honestly hoping they lead Alolan Ninetales. That would be best bet for us, right? Because Snow will start, and then we'll just cancel it out with Rain right away because Pelipper's slower. And then we won't have to worry about them swapping in Alolan Ninetales because it's already on the field. So, best situation, they lead Ninetales. Worst situation, they don't. And it's, it's kind of up in the air. It's not that bad if it does happen, if they don't lead it. But I would just be forced to hard swap my Pelper or even set up a Tailwind. Or I could predict a swap and maybe throw a Flash Cannon into that. A lot of different options here. Let's see what they got. What are you leading here? It's going to be Ninetales, so good situation here. Great situation. Lovely situation. So Magnezone here, Snow is going to start. We're going to say, nah, man. Drizzle, baby. And we're going to drizzle up. So Rain is here. Kind of protects our Magnezone from fire moves here as well. And honestly, I would love to rip a Weather Ball. I really would. And I'm going to end up doing that. And I'm just going to thunder this this slot right here instead of flash cutting. Because chances are they're going to swap. Could be in the Garchomp, though. Is it going to be in the Garchomp? I doubt it. I doubt it. I feel like they think a steel move's coming in here. So they'd rather go in, like, Corviknight or something. So I'm just going to rip a thunder. I'm just going to rip a thunder. Let's do it. Let's just rip a thunder. Just body it down. If they swap Ninetales this turn, that's fine. We can swap our Pelper to turn after, but Thunder is flying. 100% accurate. Hopefully we get a Paralyze on it, too. And no swap, just a nice big-time Terror type. All right. Who's going to be Volcarona, Ninetales? Going to be Volcarona into Grass, potentially. Into Fairy. So Weather Ball's still doing a good chunk of damage. I don't mind that too much. And I can always Flash Cannon that slot down, but right now I'm choosing the Thunder, which I don't mind. Ninetales is going to hit that Protect button. No big deal. You could be Quiver Dancing here. Thunder's gonna get blocked. That's fine by me. And Pelper, are you outspeeding Volcarona? You do. That's good news. That's good news. So we get off some nice damage. Half damage. And if you don't Quiver Dance, we're fine. You are gonna Quiver Dance. So Quiver Dance flies out here. Um, hmm. 
Special defense is going to get boosted. We could double down into that slot, which wouldn't be bad. I could see a protect flying there. Could go for tailwind. I could end up hard swapping my pelipper here. Which might be in our best interest. Honestly, I think now is a good turn for us to set up tailwind for the rest of the team. So I'm going to go tailwind, and I'm actually going to switch the thunder over into this slot. Because they already know that we're trying to lock in thunder over onto nine tails. So they might swap into guard chomp. So I'm just going to send thunder into Volcarona and maybe hope for a paralyze here. Yep, there's a swap. Is that Garchomp? Is that Garchomp? That's the real question. That's the real question I have. It is Garchomp. Look at this read. Look at this read all day. You end up protecting. Cool, we get off a free Tailwind. So, right now, I'm going to just get off this Tailwind. Grant a little bit of speed control for the rest of the squad. I could honestly just, like, attack this Garchomp with a Weather Ball. But there is the off chance that they do swap. So, I think we should just swap our Pelipper and save it for later. I'm going to swap Pelper. I'm going to go into Salamence just in case, I don't know, maybe like an EQ could potentially fly. Probably not. But I like that, and I like the Thunder just flying into the Volcarona slot. I know it's Quiver Dance. I know it's boosted on Special Attack. I know it's boosted on Speed and Special Defense. But still, Thunder can do a nice chunk of damage. A nice little Protect from Volcarona, but still getting off that Tailwind that turn, pretty good for us. So there is a chance they hard swap back into Ninetales just for weather. Which would lower the accuracy of my thunder, but still, I don't mind this. I got sturdy on my Magnezone, so we are going to be able to sort of a ground move. Stomping Tantrum, potentially. But I do get the Intimidate Garchomp, which is good news. Great news. Beautiful. And they end up withdrawing Garchomp right back into... Right back into Ninetales. So Ninetales back on the field. Hopefully this thunder can still connect. This could be a big time thunder. It's going to drop down to 70 accuracy like normal, and it's still connecting. That's good news. That's good news. It doesn't KO. Give me a Paralyze, maybe? No Paralyze. And Heatwave's gonna fly here. Magnezone dodges that. That's a big-time dodge, Magnezone. That's a big-time dodge. That's a big-time dodge. I think they're gonna swap the Ninetales. I'm not even kidding with you. I really do, but I have to pull out this this swap right here. So I'm gonna swap back into Pelper. We're gonna grab the rain. Um, they could end up protecting full Corona. There's a hot chance of that happening, and I honestly think I'm going to make that read of, of that happening. So I am going to rip a Hurricane into the slot, and I am just going to end up swapping Pelper. I think they protect Volcron and maybe swap the uh, Ninetales again. Because right now they kind of want to waste out some Tailwind turns. Or they could just throw an Ice Boob into Salamence. They could do that. I think they got to protect Volcron either way, though. They know we have speed right now. We're going to hard swap into Pelipper. And what's your plan here? Hard There's no way you're hard swapping Ninetales. I would have went first. You're hard swapping Volcarona. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Hopefully this Ninetales is going for like a War Veil. And they're going to go into Garchomp. Garchomp's going to come out here. Hurricane's going to launch into Ninetales. Do really good damage. Any ducks? No ducks? No ducks. And Blizzard's going to launch. Dodge Salamence. Pelipper dodges it. Man, the one, <laughs> the one Pokemon I... Didn't want to take the hit with Salamence, and Blizzard ends up landing. Okay. So, weather's going in right now. I can go back into Magazine if I want to. I think Arch Ludon into, like, a Grass Terror is not bad. Um, yeah, that's something I actually really like. So, I'm going to go into this Grass Terra. I don't think we really need weather too much anymore. I mean, I can get off one Electro Shot, and that's really where I, where I want to be. Because, I mean, Magazine doesn't exactly need the rain. But, it could be good. And who could your final Pokemon be? Because I'm going to go after Ninetales slot here. They might even swap it. I'm going to Electro Shot this slot. It could be Dragonite. It could be Corviknight. It could be Sneasel. I'm going to Thrasilize Grass. I'm going to Electro Shot this. I'm going to set it that way. And from here, we're just going to Weather Ball. Weather Ball does good damage. Respectable damage into Garchomp. So I'm going to do that. There's a swap of you. Go into Corviknight. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. It's going to be Corviknight. It is Corviknight. Cool. So we got Electro Shot flying here with Grass Terra, which is really good. So if he wants to go for a ground move such as Topic Tantrum, we're going to be able to soak that. Um, I don't have Intimidate anymore because my Salmon's died out here, but I didn't want to waste my Terra type on him. Hence the reason why we're using it here. We just have a nice Terra type. But Pelipper's going to outspeed. He's going to do respectable damage. That, that That's the definition of respectable. And Topic Tantrum's going to be neutralized because it's Grass Terra. Beautiful. Stamina's gonna get boosted, thanks for the defense bulk. And Electro Shot gonna fly. Okay, so from here, depending on what happens. 
depending on how this plays out. I love this defense boost, but like Alola Naito's coming out here, definitely scary. Okay, he actually survived, which is kind of good for us. In all honesty, that's good for us. Tailwind's gone. Um, and from here, I can just body press this slot. I feel like if you're swapping anybody, who would you swap? Corbin might just protect. Could just take out the guard chomp. Kind of just want to go for a protect here, to be honest. And I'm boost on defense. I mean, Arch Luna can really just outbulk these shots. Um, I have Magnus in, which is good news. I feel like I just have to get rid of this guard chomp. So I'm going to go after guard chomp. I'm going to set up another tailwind for the rest of the squad just to help with the speed factor. They still have focus ash with Pelper. So, so as long as they don't double down, they end up withdrawing. They go into Night Tails this slot, which is okay. I mean, it's fine. That's fine. Body press honestly still might just KO. So this could be really good for us. Tailwind's gonna fly from Pelper. Now Pelper's face is on the field, which is great. And body press, can you just KO? If you just KO, we can win this. Don't be. Ouch. And Roost's gonna come out. Okay, I don't really mind the Roost too much. So there's Roost. Um, now might be a good turn just to swap our... Our Pelper, because we can body press that slot and just swap into Magnezone. And then have speed. I'm cool with this. Then we can grant weather control later. Alright, yeah, yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah, this is a solid match. What a way to get this video started. Just a solid battle all around. Weather War to its finest. Swapping in and out. They got Ninetales. We got Pelver. They, they might even swap Ninetales here for weather control. But the problem is, if they swap Ninetales, their Garchomp's dead. Their Garchomp's gone. Their body press is going to take it out, no problem. Actually, is it? Yeah, because we did a lot of damage with Weather Ball. So, yeah, they're in a sticky situation. We kind of have the upper hand right now. But we haven't we haven't closed the door yet. We haven't closed the door on this match yet. So I'm going to swap Pelipper. I just don't really want them sitting here with a ton of Weather Control. Plus, I'd rather get out Magnezone right now. And he's going to end up with all Ninetales. So that's why I said, like, Ninetales is just going to get the swap. And we're going to be able to thrive out and just take out Garchomp here. Oh, I forgot you had Volcarona. Hold up. I forgot you had Volcarona. Where did this Pokemon come from? So we got a few turns left in Tailwind. Um, Roost did help out this Corvo Knight a good chunk. And what's Corvo going for? What you got for us, Corvo? You're going to go for a bulk up. You're going to go for a bulk up. I might just try to land some Thunders in that slot. Thunder can do some damage. I guess that defense bulk. Um, I think I just keep body pressing this left side down. Because we got Tailwind for a couple turns. And yeah, let's just keep body pressing this slot down. And I mean, do we just try Volt Switch pivoting? Because then we could get off weather if we want to. I mean, you're going to go first, which is the real problem. I think we just go for the Thunder and say, screw it. Let's go for its accuracy. They're landing Blizzards into us. We landed Thunder earlier. I'm confident my Mag is going to drop a nice little Thunder here. I'm confident in him. I totally forgot about the Volcarona though. That Pokemon came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. I thought we KO'd it so much earlier in the match. If he ends up with Jaw and Garchomp, that's fine. Ninetales gonna die out here. I could have Volt Switch. Volt Switch would have been a great player. But I get rid of Ninetales and I can just hard swap next turn. Question is, is Thunder landing? Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. That's what I wanted. Body press launches. Bop. Lay to Ninetales. And Corvo, what you got cooking for me? Body press. That's fine. I mean, it's gonna be super effective, but still. But still. Alright, so one turn left in Tailwind. Um, honestly, let's go for the body press. Let's just finish off this guard chomp. And let's just hard swap into Pelipper. Save our Magnezone. We got Focus Sash, which is nice. Garchomp could protect here. Garchomp could definitely protect, but I I'm gonna say it doesn't. It hasn't really protected all game. So we're gonna do this. Uh, I mean, Archelodon just has a great terror type. Like that, that terror type on Archelodon's money. Plus he's plus one on defense with stamina. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. So low on nine tails gone. We're gonna take final weather control right here. This is just like a safety blanket for Magnezone because Magnezone has that choice scarf. And if I need it to one v one this Corbinate. I'll be able to outspeed and drop Thunder 100% of the time, so. We're going to get at this weather. He's going to end up Dragon Claw in this slot. That's totally fine. 
So Pelper takes a nice chunk of damage, body press, gonna finish off the guard chomp, and this is exactly where I want it to be. In a perfect position just to 1v1 this uh, Corbin Knight with her Magnet Zone. So we got our two Pokemon on the field. They could probably handle it themselves. She probably body press KO and you don't. And we end up surviving. And yeah, now we're just we're sitting here fine. And I can send an electro shot for free. That's gonna be GG's. Thanks for playing. They're gonna cancel the match here. There it is. 1-0 to get things started. What a first match. Moving on to match number two, we're sitting 1-0, and we're going up against yet another Dancer or a Choreo team. I feel like I've been going up against a ton of these in Regulation H. Gonna be annoying. They got Quack with Ball, alongside with Volcarona, they also have Archaludon, just like us, Furgraft, and Rillaboom. I feel like leading maybe like Weather Pelipper is just solid for us, so I am gonna end up dropping this bad boy. And I'm also gonna lead Archaludon, as it's a bulky Pokemon, and it can really get things going here. So I like Archaludon for our lead. And I'll bring Magastone, obviously, because Magastone is goaded. It was a champ in the last match. We love it. And final Pokemon could be Salamence. It could be Rillaboom. I mean, Fake Out could work wonders. I kind of might would rather have a special attacker. Just because Archelon just poses that big threat. So I am just going to go in with all special attackers. I really do like that. So that's the play here. Dancer or Choreo. It's just, just a problem. I feel like it's just a problem at all times. I feel like it sets up super easily, which is kind of why I want to lead that Archelon. Like... I can pose that threat of being super effective in that slot, and chances are they're going to leave with Volcarona, so I'll have, like, Pelipper with Weather Ball, Arch Luna with Electro Shot, and I can really just, like, counter that. Like, they got to pick their poison. Like, who are you going to throw out slides? You're going to swap the other one. Like, what's going on here? And there it is, Volcarona, Oricorio, with that Titanium White. Looking dope. Looking dope, Oricorio. I'll give it to you. That looks dope. That looks dope. So, yeah. Like I said, I really posed this threat right here. I could honestly, I think Hurricane might do a little bit more damage. They're both stab. I do have stellar terror type. But I mean, that's the thing. Volcarona a lot of times has grass terror type, so I would rather throw a hurricane in here. And what typing are you again, Ori Corio? You throw me off every time. I thought you were flying. You're flying. This one's flying in electric. It's just shiny and it's kind of throwing me off. All right, whatever. Fine. So be it. So be it. So I'll go hurricane here into the Volcarona. And on top of that, we'll start boosting our special attack with Electro Shot. Sound good? Sound cool? I'm with it. I'm with it. So out comes Terror type. It's gonna be Volcarona or the Pom Pom Bird. It's gonna be the Pom Pom Bird. What you got here? That's still ground. Of course you got ground. Of course you got ground. You're an electric type too. So it's like, it's weird for you to have ground, but it works so perfectly here. You might do a ridiculous amount of damage here. And here we go. And this, this is what I gotta deal with. This is what I gotta deal with. Just what I wanted. This is what we gotta deal with. Oh my lord, <laughs> I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate this, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. Pelper, I might need a crit from you. With a weather ball. That's good damage right there. Oh, when we get ducks, we like ducks. We like the ducks. Like your shot. At least we're gonna get a special attack boost, which is good for us. But our Corio sitting here plus two in speed, special defense, and special attack. Ouch! 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 So leftover is gonna pop this bad boy. Um, I might switch over to Weather Ball into this slot. There's a chance you protect. If you have leftovers, you gotta be able to protect. So I'm gonna do that. Um. Here go Grass Terror, but I'm just going to body press down this bird. It's looking like a big threat here. Revelation Dance going to fly through here. And, oh, no. You're dead, aren't you? We should just take out the Volcarona. How much damage is Weather Ball going to do? That's the real question. Or maybe I should have set up a Tailwind, but I mean, speed's going crazy. Can you hit yourself in Confusion, Volcarona? Do us a favor? Of course you don't. Fiery Dance comes out here. How much damage is this going to do? That's decent damage, but Fiery Dance is also going to... Come out here from Dancer or Choreo. <laughs> this is absurd. It's absurd. I should have maybe brought Basket Legion. There's that. Give me a crit here, Pelper. Doom Dirty, give me a crit. Show me how it's done. Is that a crit or is that just damage? That's just damage. That's just damage, and we like that damage. So, or Choreo low on HP. And this thing's in leftover boost. So, um, Salamence isn't bad here. Especially because I can set up Tailwind, and I think that's what I want my play to be. 
So I can't Revelation Dance any of these. And I can't really bring out my Magnet Zone right now, so... I feel like Tailwind has got to be the play. Or I could just protect and take out or Corio and set up Tailwind the next turn. That's not bad. That's exactly one window. That's exactly one window. I'm gonna Hurricane to take out the Oricorio. Protect this turn for Pelper because I feel like Pelper is the, the main th focus of threats right now. After seeing how much damage it did, just did. Plus, it's kind of lower on HP. So they're like, we could probably KO it. So I'm gonna do that. Air Slash is gonna fly into that slot. Beautiful. Volcarona, what you got cooking? Maybe another Fiery Dance. Of course, you snap out of confusion. We get no luck for there. You're gonna go for a Core Dance. Can this Hurricane KO? This thing's gonna be plus three on special defense. I need you, Salmonch. You're life orb. You're life orb. You got this. You got this all day. It's stab. You're life orb. If Pelper's doing that much damage with Weather Ball, you gotta be cooking. You gotta be cooking here. Pelper's doing everything. You gotta take this thing out. Let's go. Alright, so that's a big KO. Um, Tailwind's not a bad turn here. How many turns left in rain? That's the real question. I mean, I can do both. I got a tailwind on both these guys. So I was gonna say, I kind of want to drop a weather ball on the Volcarona. Get off some nice damage. Plus, with the rain, I mean, heat waves kind of dialed back a little bit. Or fiery dance, whichever one you're using. Could have bug buzz though. Archaludon does take the field. That's a scary little booger. That's definitely a scary little booger. And I have Magnus to kind of deal with it, just a tad bit, not really. I do have terror type. Um, I'm gonna go for this weather ball into this slot, and I am gonna go for this tailwind here. Put Terrasalize steel here. I am still just gonna go for tailwind. Maybe I should Terrasalize steel. This thing is, if you go for dragon move into me here, oh man, you get real ugly. Volcarona is gonna end up protecting. Archley, on what you got cooking here? You gonna electro shot my Pelper down? Now I got this Tailwind. Well, the ball's gonna get blocked. And there's your. I should have steel tired. I knew it. I knew it. I would love for my Salamence here. Salamence would have been a big part. It's not like I could just swap Arch Loot on. I knew I should have done that. I knew it. All right, Magazone, your time to shine. Your time to shine, Magazone. Your time to shine. You do have the Fighting Terror with Terra Blast. That might have to be the move that we honestly choice into. That might have to be a move. What could your final Pokemon be? Black Will Ball, Rillaboom. Rillaboom's a little bit of a pain. Definitely want to drop Weather Ball in this slot, so I'm going to go Weather Ball there. I'm going to Terrasalize and go for Terra Blast into Arch Lunon. We that's, that's our only way to win this game. It's our only way, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I should have I should have definitely still Terrored our... Salamence there, because then I could have gotten off Tailwind and then a Jerk Meteor next turn. I'm just hoping my Pelipper could actually outspeed this Volcarona. I know Choice Scarf Boy will, which is good. But our Terrible Ass flies, how much damage are we looking to do? That's really good damage. I know you're going to get Stamina Boost, but we're fine. We're fine. Fiery Dance can launch. Still in the rain, which is good news. How much damage is doing? Ooh, that's still a lot of damage. That's still a bit, a bit more than I wanted it to be. That's why I wanted Pelper to outspeed, because can we KO? We don't even KO. And Archlon's gonna body press, pick up the KO. Man! Should've Steel Terror, but still, Oracorio and Volcarona really go crazy in Regulation Age. They're just so strong here, because once you get off that one Quiver Dance, which most of the time Volcarona's just outspeeding, it's gonna just stack up real quick, and then you're doing big time damage. We lost Arch Loot on early here. It's all good, though. I'm going to end up running this match. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one on one Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Moving on to our third and final match. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here. Sitting one on one dominated our first match. Second match, or Corio just got the best of us. Now we're sitting here up against a team with no weather control, which means Pelipper is going to be our lead. And I also kind of want to just, like, lead it with Choice Scarf Magnetone. One, because they don't know that Magnetone is choice, and two, it can just do a lot of damage with Thunder in the rain. So I'm going to end up leading both of those bad boys. They could lead Tinkaton for Fake Out, which could definitely be scary. I am going to want Basic Legion. And last but not least, I could go in with Archer Ludon. I could. I could, but I might just want to go in with Rillaboom, considering Rillaboom can be very nice up against that Tauros and that Ursaluna. So yeah, I'm down for it. Miracle Seed Rillaboom. 
looking for the win here. Hopefully we can grab ourselves this winning record. Alright, so they got Cinderace, they got Tinkathon. I could see them leading Tinkathon. Tinkathon could be a little rough for me. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm just worried more so about Fake Out than anything. But they got Swana, right? Or that's not Swana. That's a Bombardier or something like that, right? That Pokemon's weird, man. I don't I don't see it too much. So it's like, I feel like whenever you go up against a Pokemon that like you don't see too much, it's like, okay, what is it going to do? And it usually like drops like a mind-blowing move on you. And you're just like, dude, I wasn't expecting that. And it just KOs you. And you're just like, come on, man. Come on, man. What do you want me to do about that? What do you want me to do about that? So let's see. Let's see what they got cooking here. Hopefully Tinkaton not coming in here for lead, but chances are it is, so. Let's see it. What you got? There's Tinkaton and Ursulina. Okay, so I really like really like the Pokemon we have on the field. I think maybe just going into like we could hard swap our Magneton if we want to. Into like Bulboom here, because what are you gonna go for like round move if anything? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna save my Magneton. Just gonna save my magazine. We're just gonna go into our lovely little rule boom here. And we'll protect our paloops. So swap the magazine. Into our rule boom. Let's play on our end. And the grass search out and about. Protect from our bird. Big beak bird. And what are they throwing out here? Fake outs. Yep, in the Palper, which is good. Now, are they going for ground move with Ursaluna? They're going for blood move. They're doubling down to my Palper. Have a day, Palper. Have a day. Have a day, Palper. Have a day. We're going to stall our turn now. Do I drop a Weather Ball? Yeah. I'm going to double down here. Actually, I'm just going to fake out you. I'm just going to fake out Tinkaton. Go for Weather Ball in this slot with Stellar Terror. If Ursaluna doesn't Terrasalize or anything, this damage should KO it. I mean, Pelper hits hard, man. Pelper's stats are lackluster, but Weather Ball in the rain, it hits hard, man. It does it does enough damage. It does a good chunk of damage. So we'll see what they want to do here. They could end up Terrasalizing Ursaluna. But, I mean, if they do, what, what, what are you really going to do? Drop a Blood Moon into Pelper, hopefully? If it's in the Robin, Robin might die, but let's see. Let's see what they got going here. So Stellar Terror Pelipper, we love it. Stellar Terror on the Pelipper. How often do you see that? How often do you see that? And we are going to see a Terror type pop out from them. Probably normal on Ursulina or Ghost. I feel like it's two, two different options. It is going to end up being normal. Alright, so I mean, Weather Ball is still going to do at least half here. At least half with the, with the, with the Terror type here for me. So we end up doing that. Hopefully he's dropping a Blood Moon into Pelipper. I would love that. That would be a good turn for us to use our Focus Ash. Unless you got Vacuum Wave. That's something I wouldn't like. But Weather Ball going to do great damage. Another Weather Ball won't KO, which is kind of tough for us. And Hyper Voice is going to connect here. So Hyper Voice connecting, doing ridiculous amount of damage. A bit too much for us to handle. And Robin, do you outspeed Ursaluna? That's the real question. Do you outspeed Ursaluna? You gotta outspeed Pelper to outspeed Ursaluna. You should outspeed Ursaluna. That 10 point difference isn't isn't anything crazy, so. What I'm really hoping here is I could just, you know, rip a Weather Ball again into Tinkathon. Or I could go for Hurricane, but it wouldn't be very effective. I'm gonna rip a Weather Ball. Actually, I might just protect you. I'm gonna protect you and go for a Wood Hammer. Just because I don't want Ursaluna to have Vacuum Wave. And really pose that threat, but he's just gonna swap Ursuline. Okay. So he swaps Ursuline. He's gonna go into Cinderace now. Cinderace is gonna take mediocre damage here to this. To this move right here. To this wood hammer. Might honestly be like half. Cinderace ain't that much of a. Yeah, see, it actually takes a lot of damage. But Cinderace isn't that bulky of a Pokemon. I'm kinda hoping Grass got KO, but Gigaton Hammer's gonna KO us. There's that. Um, now's a perfect time for us to bring out our one and only Magnetizone. Our Magnetizone's going to be great here because it's Choice Scarfed. And Cinderace ain't ready for that. Cinderace is not ready for that. So I'll go into you. Um, I could have went into our Basket Legion, but I think saving Basket Legion could be pretty good for us. So I'm going to go into Magnetizone. And I can freely just start ripping Thunders. And I'm just going to drop a Weather Ball and take a ton. 
to do that, Thunder 100% accurate. They're probably sitting here like, hey, my Cinderace outspeeds. But what they do not know is... Oh, he's going for faint here. He's going for faint, which we should... Now we die out. That's actually... That's a good play right there. That's a good play. Faint goes first. I wasn't expecting faint, but I was going to say, what they do not know is our our, ba our uh, Magasin's Choice Scarf. So Magasin is going to come out here. Out here. He's going to drop a Thunder. He's going to take out Cinderace. And I'll get Basque Legion in the rain for a couple turns. I should win this rain, and you're knocking off my choice scarf. I wanted that. I wanted that, but I don't need it. It's not like I need it, need it. It's not like I need it, need it. The Dragon Pulse is going to fly through here. They don't have Terra. I could make a hard read here. I could make the hardest of reads. How many turns are left in this uh, rain? I might make the hardest of reads here. And go for a wave crash in this slot. Honestly, let's just go for wave crash in this slot. Let's just thunder this slot. It's gonna be not very effective, but I think you swap Dragapult more so than anything. I really do. I really do think. We don't have Terror type anymore. But I really think you swap Dragapult more so than anything. Yep. You think we're going for last respects into that slot? That's why I switched it. That's why I switched it. You got that normal type there. You got that normal type on the field. The Thunder honestly could KO Ursula, and I'm hoping this Wave Crash can just KO this Tinkaton. And it does. Let's go. That's a great call on Arin. That's a beautiful call. We're still not out of this yet. We're still not out of this yet. Thunder is going to land, and Thunder should KO. Thunder should KO. It does. That's a that's a great call on Arin to switch those up. So I really want to go for last respects in a Dragapult slot, but I was like, they have normal Pokemon. They can read this all day. So let's just switch it up just in case. And it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly. So 2v1 now. Dragapult could be choice banned, which is terrifying with like Dragon Darts. I don't have the choice scarf anymore, which is really good for us actually now. So I can switch over to like Flash Cannon. But now I want to go for Last Respects, and now I want to go for Flash Cannon. I could protect Basket Legion and play like, safe and make a read. But the problem here is, like, the only movie probably would have would be... Oh, man, that would actually not work good for us. If he goes into Phantom Force. He goes for Dragon Darts, which we should soak. Okay, that's cool. We win this game. I was going to say, you go for Phantom Force, you probably win this game. I don't know. But Last Respect's going to do the work. It's going to say bye-bye, Dragapult. We say GG's. We go 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Choice Scarf, Magnuson, Rain Team for Ranked Regulation Age. Magnuson was everything that we wanted it to be today. Dominated in match number one and match number two. But that little dancing bird did get the best of us in match number two. So we grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record. I'll take it all day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.